nine for 255. Chance there, yes, a great catch by Alan Knott, going for the hook. Could possibly have been off the glove, but a good diving catch away to his right by Alan Knott. And that is out, Clive Lloyd getting it right on the bottom of the bat. Not very fortunate there, that kept very, very low indeed. I think he probably got it right down the queue in, which makes it quite a remarkable catch by Alan Knott. and he's given it out and Lloyd doesn't like it and that is out he's still got plenty of time for that record but Bob Willis has taken his second wicket of the innings there it is again and as that ball goes into Alan Knott's gloves he equals the record held by Godfrey Evans of 219 test dismissal. And that's out this time, he stumped him, not a stumped him, that one certainly turned. And Derek Underwood strikes and he'll be relieved, it's the first wicket he's taken since Old Trafford. And Lonsro is the man to go, out for 70, stumped not, bowled Underwood with the West Indies total on 350. So applause for Alan Knott establishing this new world record. Most dismissals now made by a wicketkeeper in Test Match Cricket. It's on to 220 and just at long last passing the record here of Godfrey Evans with 219 to his credit. And that is out. It must be gone. It was very wide, a quicker ball. And Clive Lloyd is gone for 84. Alan, that must have been a marvellous moment, first of all, to equal Godfrey's record and then to break it. Yes, Richie. I, it was lovely in a way that it was off Derek Underwood, I think. Uh, I think just before that, I dropped quite a difficult catch. And uh, I think maybe I, it was meant to be that it should be uh, off Derek Underwood that I broke the record. But I think I've never really been a records man. But uh, when it happened, there was a terrific relief. I was terribly pleased, I must admit.